Safe haven. Useless at the moment. Revolver ammo and batteries. Yes. See, they're just regular batteries. See, we were full at before. God damn it. Oh, crap. That means we ain't gonna come back at all. Oh, well. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. I love this predator. He's just living everything I need to. He gives me a flare gun. Damn, two bullets for it. Excellent. Whoa, what the hell? Scary. Let's see beside to the left of it. What the fuck? The thing I don't like about this game is the enemies. Well, are the enemies themselves, because um, they're uninspired. You know, just dudes with shadowy figure, and that's it. I mean, it could have been better, like Sun and Hell. Of course. Two guys behind me. Let's go. Oh, more. <laughs> Fuck. That was strange, to say the least. Okay, come on, faster, Alan. I missed the dude. God damn it. Thank you. Let's, okay, two bullets. Nice. I just love their reference to some certain things, an event in their life that is actually useless to me. Accurate. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> die, die. Tonight. See, easy as a pie. Easy as a pie. I wonder, is there like a submachine gun in this game maybe? Later on? Be awesome. Not. I don't want to see that kind of weapon in this kind of games. Think about like getting a bazooka in Silent Hill. Or submachine gun. I don't remember submachine guns in... So oh, actually there were. They were pretty useless. Especially in the third one. I remember that third one. And a new manuscript, nice. We're getting them. Way lies to the sheriff. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Man, one more page, actually two more pages. Okay, 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 okay. God damn it, just F5. Oh, awesome. 
Okay, welcome back. So <laughs> we're having problems with traps per usual. So. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, I'm getting the creeps again. Wow, look at that. Just, you know, sniff the fucking atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Oh, lithium batteries. <laughs> I'm full. Shotgun ammo, never full for that. Nice. I'm using the freaking pistol cause I don't know if this thing actually goes through the levels science it bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind oh my god Einstein, Sagan, princes among men but the price for such a legacy is steep indeed Springs. Tonight's episode, a quantum suicide. Let's see it. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin. And I'm glad so many oh God, of you the cheesy join me voice here acting. at the Moorcock and Institute. Scene. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration <coughs> of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. No, no, It shall be yeah. part of a thought experiment. Really? And now, a real experiment known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pop. Okay, and there's a yet, bit lag. I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing oh. did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? Oh, Double shit. Line. You fools. Game. Okay, there was a bit lag there. He's dead, right? Shit. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Yeah, maybe he should have just put the damn thing into the damn in thing. Everything would be okay now. Smart, very smart. Oh wait, there may be presence for demon. No, okay. Well, that's sad. So we need two new manuscripts, and that's about it. Uh, what the hell did I do? Nothing special, but we can guess that we're gonna get attacked by someone. Prepare this. For in case of an emergency.
Come on, you fuckers, attack me. It can be. Okay, that's Saki. Hell yeah, Saki's back. What's wrong, Saki? Be afraid, Saki. You just need to die. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Saki, don't be a dick. See, it was easy to die, wasn't it, Saki? Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. See, I should have just kept this beautiful weapon. See, see, let's do the demon. Demon knows best. Demon knows with his own. Oh, give me a shitty break. I don't know, I don't get the fraps at all. Why does it like to lag that much? Usually I hear at least when it lags like that, he made a new file. It usually cuts them to the three to four gigabytes, so it's a little bit bad for your hard drive. Nobody likes fraps, but it's the best one there is. And I tried many. It, it is the best one. At least for me. It's you know, it's easy to use. Watch it, you're not Rocky. Come on, two manuscripts. There's just goddamn two manuscripts I need. And there is that light. I'm guessing with the death of the Saki. Everything is okay. We have finished the game. We found the damn thing. Near this big towway thingy. Just checking. I really wouldn't know what the hell should I say now. When well, now that we killed the boss. Yay. We're awesome? Okay, so we got nothing here. I can't find it at least, and I'm not gonna waste too much time upon it. Let's not waste this ammo. We don't have many. What the hell was that? There was like maybe a focus thingy. Probably a focus. I recognized the parade float I had seen yeah. in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. I had to remember it. 
I was awesome back then. Yeah, well, now I'm getting a creeps again. Just fucking awesome. Yeah, it would seem I can't find two manuscripts. <laughs> I guess I missed it. Oh well. Oh well. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. And that's actually the part where we came from. There. Exactly. There. There. Damn, that was a long way. A very long way. Hey, there's a manuscript. Nice. Always trust a deer's ass to give you a manuscript. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Poor Sucky. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Wow. I wonder, can we go beyond this? 